I gave you part of my chicken sandwich. You will watch the scary trailer with me. Thank you all for coming. If Maggie were here, she'd just tell okay. you all to Never mind. make yourselves at home. The greatest Ow! thing about Ow! Maggie was this deep love that she had for Jenny. If I'm honest, I could have been a better father. That's Peter Quinn! Now I've, I've got to do that. I've got, I got to be great for Jenny. That's Peter Quinn. Um, homeland. I love Peter. How are you holding up, brother? I can't believe she's gone. Things at home have been strange. What are you doing? Baby is painting. Daddy, where do you think mommy is now? In you? How's she holding no. up? Jenny said she saw something in her room. Where did you see this? You're not supposed to tell. This is an angry soul who is trapped in this world. What the heck? I felt something up there. It's bad. Jenny? Just come up, Samantha. What is this? darkness. What does it want? To inflict pain. She's trying to give us a message. So for starters, this is what I get for giving Dobby some of my chicken sandwich this morning. She's one of those cats that like, she goes back for the attack and she doesn't get you good the first time. She's a little brat. I love her though. That was creepy as fuck. Usually you don't get to see the ghosts. You don't get to see the monsters. You just see the hands and the creepy noises and the shadows. And they save that part for the movie. They showed this dude. And a lot of other ones. And they were freaking creepy. Now, they reminded me of the dolls that she had. She had a marionette kind of doll. Or like a clown doll. And this is a clown. There was like the bending fingers of like what looked like the marionette. I think maybe her toys are becoming possessed by some demon or something. When she was painting, or painting, with the spaghetti sauce on the wall, she said baby's painting. Which made me feel like the wife possessed her at some point. So I don't know if the wife is a good ghost or a bad ghost or what is going on. Maybe that's why she got hit by the car. Maybe she got possessed and she... I don't know. That was freaky as fuck. That was really creepy. The part where the sheets go over her and she's trapped there and the thing... Oh my gosh. That was creepy as hell. That was Peter Quinn from Homeland. I can't remember the actor's actual name, but I loved Homeland and I love Peter Quinn and I am very excited to see him in a newer role because I don't think I've ever seen him in anything recently. Uh, the little girl is the little girl who plays young Nell on The Haunting of Hill House. If you have not seen The Haunting of Hill House and you want to get into a creepy horror series, it is amazing. The Haunting of Bly Manor was the one that followed it, and it wasn't the same story. They kind of did like an American Horror Story thing where they used the same characters, and it was just a different story. It was good, but it was nowhere near The Haunting of Hill House. The Haunting of Hill House was honestly one of my favorite all-time horror genre-esque things, considering movies or TV shows of all time. Definitely by far one of my top three favorite horror movie series of all time. Or horror series, I should say. She was so good in that. The, I love these young child actors that can just blow your mind. Like, you have adults that can't even pull off what these kids pull off so skillfully. I'm definitely going to see that. That That is on my radar. That Horror movies are tricky. Horror movies have a very good way of looking like they're going to be really scary and looking like they're going to have a great story and having absolutely bullshit of a story. So I feel like I still, as big of a horror movie fan as I am, get tricked by that. But this this seemed pretty promising. Like the cast, like the story, like the scares, creepy as shit. I'm in. 
everyone throw a like up or dislike if you do or do not like what you see comment down below let me know if you are going to be seeing this subscribe if you have not yet we do fun things here ring a ling ling the bell to be notified when i upload new videos and check the link down in the description for my patreon it is five dollars a month that's a dollar 25 a week and it has all of my unedited reactions Sweet Home, Alice in Borderland, Riverdale, Bridgerton, Demon Slayer, all these things and more. Something for everybody. Go check it out. So long, everyone. Try to make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.